Hey guys, welcome back to Curiosity Corner. I'm Dr. Sarah. Today we're gonna to talk about what do you do with all this stress? So if you're like me, December is my favorite time of the year. However, it's the most stressful time of the year. So on top of regular day-to-day -day job demands, parenting, we have two birthday parties, four Christmas parties. So although it's good stress, it's still stress. Um, and in the medical community, we like to call the body's response to stress the fight or flight response. And the reason for that is because in the early days of humans, stress uh, used to be either fight to find food or flight to avoid becoming food. But today you can get Uber Eats delivered to your front door. So let's be honest, our stress is much less physical and much more mental and emotional. But our body's response is the same. It prepares the body to move. So blood is redirected to the skeletal muscle, the mind becomes hypervigilant and stress hormones like cortisol are released into the body. However, without a way to burn off all this extra energy, um, those cortisol levels start to build up in the body and our muscles start to become tense, we start to accumulate fat, and our brain starts being able to focus on the task at hand. So, what do I do with all this stress? What is the response? Get moving, physical activity. Actually, aerobic exercise, moderate aerobic um, intensity, is great for helping to bathe the brain, the nerves, the muscles and the joints in really good oxygenated blood. And that increased blood flow also helps to break up and get that lactic acid out of the muscles. It helps to decrease those cortisol levels and it helps um, our brain focus better to be more creative, better able to problem solve. So I get it. I'm the same way, it's hard to find time to exercise. That thought of if I just keep working and getting all of this done, um, things will be better. But really taking that 20 minutes for a brisk walk, uh, jump on the bike over your lunch break might be the best thing you can do because it'll help you problem solve better, you'll be more focused, um, you'll be able to get your stuff done more effectively and you'll feel better. Plus, exercise doesn't only reduce the effects of stress, it helps to prevent the effects of stress on the body. And that's because exercise is stress, but it's predictable and controlled stress. You start to teach your brain that if you can do really hard things in the gym, you can take on the really hard things in life too. So more stress, more exercise, key points. And if you're like me, you carry all your stress up in the neck and shoulders. Here are my three favorite exercises to get some immediate relief right now. Again, number one, movement and blood flow. So just a couple little shoulder squeezes. Get some blood pumping through those neck and upper back muscles. Five, 10 in a row, do it throughout the day. You'll definitely start to notice some change. Number two, grab a foam roll. So again, a lot of times what we do during the day, we get rounded, the muscles in the back and upper neck start to get lengthened and they don't get a break. So give them some slack, literally. Grab a foam roll. I like to lay down long ways. And you're just gonna let those arms fall out to the side. And as I do that, I'm taking the stretch off my upper back and I'm opening up through the chest. Close your eyes, hang out here for two minutes. You'll feel a lot better. And then the last one, if you get tension headaches, again, that tension builds up in the tiny muscles at the back of our head. Grab a couple tennis balls. I've got another set at home, just stuff it in a sock, rubber band it so they stay together. And then you're gonna find that little tender spot right at the back of your skull, lay down. Again, close your eyes, hang out for a minute or two, fall asleep if you might, and then give me a call, let me know how you feel. If you have any other questions, I love talking about this topic, I love talking about what exercise can do for your body. Um, I'd love to give you some resources if you're looking for it. So you can email us, give us a call, or if you're looking for other stretches, again, we can help with that too. Thanks guys.